I have uh, been interested in the area of sleep as it relates to cardiovascular disease for a very long time. Um, and the reason for that is the literature is replete um, with, with study after study showing the incredible um, bi-directionality between sleep disorder and cardiovascular health. Um, most everybody recognizes the, the confluence of uh, the risk of atrial fibrillation, which therefore leads to risk of stroke related to obstructive sleep apnea. Of course, that's related to obesity. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the most common layman connection to sleep abnormalities in cardiovascular health. But there are so many more. We, we see enormous um, interplay in the area of congestive heart failure and disorders of sleep. We see it in refractory hypertension where patients are on the right medicines, they're taking all their medicines, but we're having trouble controlling their blood pressure. Uh, we also see it in patients that have um, multiple cardiovascular risks, but not yet manifest, like obesity, and how obesity and hypertension and hyperlipidemia, again, conspire towards sleep disorder, which then further complicates their underlying diseases, which then leads to more enhanced cardiovascular risk. So we became interested in making it easier for patients to acquire testing by doing it ambulatory, doing it from home, because so many patients are reluctant or resistant to going to a place where they sleep overnight in a strange room, in a strange bed, being observed. With the great help and cooperation of the ASM, um, which enabled us to be recognized and accredited as a provider of these studies, we were able to roll this out to a much larger cohort of patients than were willing to go to an overnight sleep study as their first screening step in the determination of sleep disorder. Uh, now, seven, eight years into this journey, I'm really gratified to say that this has really enhanced our ability to care for patients, uh, having a higher diagnostic probability of knowing they have sleep disorder, uh, referring them to the appropriate sleep specialist for prescription of um, often CPAP or uh, other types of augmented breathing during the night to improve their sleep efficiency and quality. And that in turn has improved the quality of life for the patient. Uh, I cannot speak highly enough of the relationship CCP, our practice, has had with ASM uh, and how I believe it's fundamental to be accredited, to be fully recognized, because then that helps to vouchsafe the quality of the program that you're providing for the patient.